Well, I've been talking about transforming grief for today's day 21 of 44. I thought I would share the little kitties with you today. Kiwi and Koshka. They are, they are uh, beautiful healing tools. And they came running in here right as I was doing Facebook Live. So I thought I'd share them with you at the beginning here. Today, the radio show topic is A Journey from Grief to Peace. Kathy Perry was my guest for this show in 2010, and as I'm reposting all of the archived radio shows, I wanted to share this one with you today. Kathy's husband had a heart attack and died on the way to the hospital. Although he hadn't been feeling well, they didn't really realize the extent of his um, of what was going on with his heart at that time. And so Kathy and I talked about that journey. It had been three years since her husband died. They had been married for 39 years. She talked about the last day that they spent together and some of the things, some of the ways that her husband was involved with healing karma, you know, really doing some deep inner work the last, I think she said, year of his life. But some of the things that Kathy shared on the show, um, you know, one was realizing that nothing was important anymore. The details that had seemed so important that day or the days leading up to his heart attack, uh, nothing was important anymore. And so I thought today, let's pause on that for a moment. Where are you cycling through something and thinking that something is so important that you're putting a lot of attention there right now? And to spend some time today just taking a pause and to think about things that you're holding on to, ways in which you, you may be placing importance on something or feeling like you have to have the answer to something today. How important is that in, that in this moment? And where is that taking you out of a place of peace, of enjoying where you are, being in the present moment? Some of the things that, she, that Kathy shared on the show, she shared about um, really having this cellular memory of guilt that she hadn't been able to save her husband when he had this massive heart attack. Um, and do it using exercises, doing different energy tools to deal with the emotions, you know, the anger that she had and a variety of emotions. She's talking about healing all of these different energy layers. And so think about it for a moment. When you've had loss or change or disappointment, whether it is the loss of a loved one through death or it is about... Um, you know, something that just didn't go the way you thought it was going to go in your life. And sometimes those places of disappointment, we can carry a discouragement energy inside of us. And so there are these different layers to be healed. Um, it's funny, I just, I just had this thought. As much as I talk about grief, if you had told me before my son died in 1993, that I would devote a lot of my life to understanding grief and feeling the power of it. You know, I would have thought, why would I do that? I want, I'm a positive, uplifted person. I want joy and happiness in my life. But I know that there are these subtle ways that we hold disappointment that the deaths of people in our life have has affected us. That um, dreams, you know, the tender-hearted dreams that you may have that didn't manifest in the way that you thought they were going to or in the way that they, they um, came later in life. There are these layers, and when you give it a little bit of time, a presence, you, you talk about it, you realize it, it actually frees you to more joy and happiness in your life. So the year after Kathy's husband died, she spent a lot of time studying energy. 
And she used tools like EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, Radical Forgiveness with Colin Tipping, um, Matrix Energetics, Qigong. And she talks about some of those on the show and also about writing. Um, you know, there was a point, she said, where the energy work that she was doing was helping her because on the one hand, she was focused on this bright future that was happening. Things were happening in her life. And then she would have these waves of pain from the past, sadness or anger or guilt. And that it was actually keeping her from being in the present moment. So think about that for a moment. You may have this bright future on the horizon and it's actually keeping you from feeling what's happening now because of the disconnect from the pain from the past. All right, it was a really rich show and you know, it just felt like by, by this time in the radio shows when I did 44 shows in 45 days over the holidays in 2010. By this time, there was a rhythm in the shows that really felt like I was having a cup of tea and sitting and having a conversation with my guest. So this show today was an example of that. And I will post the show link here and a reminder that I will be leading 30 days of writing in January to heal grief, to create a space for listening, to, um, you know, and, and I posted today that really people have signed up for that 30 days of writing program to be in a space where they're held. So the daily writing prompts, maybe you're not a writer. Maybe what you want to do is use it for meditating or creating art or reflecting. So the, um, it's a rich place to be to really start the year. So I will also post that link, the link to the radio show on a journey from grief to peace and the writing, 30 days of writing in January. All right, see you tomorrow for day 22 of 44 days of transforming grief. Today was day 21.